I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay then. I think we will be doing the room of requirements first. It's far more important than anything else for the moment. And anyway. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We're about to go unlock the room of requirements apparently. Make our way up there. I think we have the flu point for it. I have a new quest. I'm not saying you have to be boring. I thought your mother was nice. Italians and a historian. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Oh, it sounded a bit robotic there for a second. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. 
I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, space left, space F, and then left. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Evanesco. We're gonna get three full spells from this, so have enough room for him. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Will do. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Revelio. Should have been a couple of things right Goodness. Here. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Rude. Revelio. And I believe I need to do a Levioso. You your slots full. Wow. Any greens that I could get rid of? Probably only give us green. Give us a purple. Revelio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! It offended the room. Thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Revelio. Okay. Yeah, axe sharpener. There's a bag up there. I don't know how to get to it though. It's always been there. <clears throat> how does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Probably doesn't. Don't. Revelio. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? It is. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Any people that laugh like that? I believe I got a to pulse out this. Akio! But I also do that. Also. Get rid of that. To pulse out. Revelio. 
kill. Yeah, we go back over this way. Sure, I'm supposed to be able to get the chest from him. Uh, of course. Uh. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. 
this is type thing that I was hoping that had some form of combat version. Unfortunately, they never did. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. Conjuration. Conjure a potting table and a potion station. Potions. Got a couple of designs. I have what looks like a science lab. A bit more Ravenclaw. -y. More Hufflepuffy. Slytherin. Doesn't really look Slytherin though. It's just green. Those are gargoyles. This is what I would think would be Slytherin, just with the red color. I always like this one, though. Change the color. Purple. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Let's place down... Find a better place for them later. These will give me free Moonstone. 10, I believe, per 10 minutes. So 30 every 10 minutes. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Let's right, so know more about Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Okay. Can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. 
But the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I would. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Best charm of the game. Does the most damage after the obvious one, the killing curse. I think it, the Incineo spell actually does almost as much as well. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay, how many do I need? I need 50. Don't need you for now. And I don't need you. Guess we don't need three of you just yet. So we'll be fine with two for now. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oops. Wrap that back out real quick. Conjure wall decorations. So we have some long mirrors, an oval mirror, a winged mirror, flower box, and a quidditch board. Let's go and grab the quidditch board. Put it. Let's do it over here. Make this our little corner. Those equal? No, they aren't. That far out? A little bit more? Still doesn't look equal. fine for now. We will correct it later. Like this. And how about a painting? On this wall. Following that, let's go and grab a carpet. Change the color. Go pour from. How about there? Small scientific one, look like. I, think I kind of prefer this one.
Nothing from you at the moment. You can increase the size of all these things, but I'm not going to do that just yet. We have three down on the floor. A chair. Finally, let's place the statue. We have a Jabernal, a Neasel, or a Grapple. Place to put it. And you can't turn it around where the crap horn is facing the other way. If you know what I mean. Good work. So Shall you can't we have it symmetrical like this. It'll just look like that. Nuts. Leave him there for though. Because we don't really have anything else to place down. I'd have liked the Phoenix one. Or one of these cabins. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay, space left, F space space. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Or these are locked for the moment. Let's go ahead and just change the color of this. Alter style of an item. Put that back. Actually, just get rid of you. Alter style. Change it to you. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. That looks so bad. Probably gonna go with that one. I think we'll go with this one. The eclectic central floor. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. 
Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I'm not really sure I like the purple on the actual wood. I kind of prefer it in the decal. Why it's turning me that way when I'm trying to do the balcony. Doesn't look so bad. I think we'll go that one. I don't like that. It's good to mix it up a little bit. Or we can go for the full roof type thing. Or a bit more of a ancient vibe. With that one. Kind of like the green up there. Okay. I think our little hideaway looks good for now. Let's go speak to Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? What are we going to go for? Cool moonlit ambience. Natural and earthy. That's dark and mysterious. Kind of like the cool moonlit ambiance. I would like Let's the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. That is nice. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. And of course, we got another one. Go decorate that one as well. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Oh, I will. Lost my statue.
Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get to decorating this place. So, we're gonna get into here for that. Continue on with this next time. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.